Hello everybody, it's me Francisco Tupi. Now in this video I will talk about Minecraft education. So let's understand, let's see what we can do in the classroom using the Minecraft features of this new version. So we have here uh, a list of features things we can see is use it to enhance the the management of the class here much more easy to find students when we open or close and open again the world a way to find where we save it or we can spawn the characters the great idea of minecraft now i think in my opinion is the exchange of the maps we can do something uh, a kind of word a kind of uh, activity and you can exchange the maps in the last versions was a quite difficult to find the word and they put this world in the in the new fo folders but now is simple as we save a file in Word or PowerPoint. In the other versions, the students could put uh, the name of they want, so they can ex exchange the um, IDs. Or we had a, a little bit numbers of avatars. So in this time, the student has his name and we this is impossible to change the name personal camera folder is a new new implementation very nice in the other versions we need to press a button so the image the print screen went for a folder used to to reach to be saved in a folder only with the administration codes we can access this so this time is much more easy and the students with this folder can save all the images of each project. Classroom management is the same, is the easy way to set up the world for creative mode without playability, playability things as PvP, player versus player. Uh, the specialized Specialized blocks to school was enhanced because before we have the spawn block, it's very nice for gather the students or each one who appears in the world next from the constructions. Um, beside that, we have the block of numbers but now we have kind of blocks to sort the students in each space the construction don't scramble or the student can't jump over the border to mess the construction of the other student multiplayer with 30 students nice i use it to do with more i tested with minecraft to do and i my record of students in the same world with a server is 50 students and the tutorial experience is always welcome welcomed because we sometimes some teachers don't don't know minecraft enough and this is a way to to put minecraft in a very very simple condition even with the students the students is used to play more in tablets or even consoles so this tutorial is good to introduce how minecraft works and how understand the education edition 
So now the education edition reach the beta version test. The beta version test is free. You can download and test, but only if you fill all the eligible condition. So the first is if you are an educator or a staff member working in a formal, a regular school, plus you have a, a formal email from this institution. So do you have an email, your name, at the name of the school? And this email is allowed to receive external messages. This configures you eligible to, to use to test the, the free beta, beta version. After that, public library, if you are a librarian or know a public library, you can talk with the people who manage this space to acquire Minecraft to offer the, the public the Minecraft Education Edition for the public can do educational projects. The same way in the museums. Museums, public, public museums are eligible to receive, to download the Education Edition of Minecraft. And other people who is eligible to receive the education edition is the homeschool. If you have a homeschool program with your family, with your community, you can have the access to. So, in the website, where you will download, I will show the website in the end of the video. You will download. After you download, in your download folder, we will receive this. So you will click with the right button of the mouse and you will choose this. Extract the information. After this, you will install the installation folder. Inside the installation folder, we will see install Minecraft Education Edition with a uh, engine in the icon. Again, you will click with the right button and you will choose the Executate as Admin. My computer is in Portuguese, but just look for the shield. After you install, will appear this window for you put your Microsoft mail and your password. So one of the, the changes in the education edition is the great amount of avatars we have. So we don't need to personalize any skin. You have this option, but we have a lot of skins. So we can individualize this to give more identity of your class. For example, I choose this a gentleman with a beautiful mustache and bow tie. But we have a lot of characters as kings. No, oh, here is a queen, sorry. Or Marilyn the Mage. Or very nice guy from the future. Or a Indian guy with a turban girls, bad guys, so we can use these characters to do animations too, to make a construction 
history construction and use this kind of skins to make animations or create a more immersive environments okay when we start we have this window with two options the world and friends so in friends we can add a server here and here we have a lot of options of the worlds we create so it's the first time i am playing i don't have any world created let's suppose i have here uh, a world a world here another world here another world so i will click above the world i choose in this condition i don't have a world so i will type here new world brave new worlds come in a good sense here i you will enter the name of my new world here i choose if i wanna survival mode or creative mode always in an educational project is better to use creative mode but i don't know what the plan and we can type here in this arrow and this plus button to configure our world so let's see what the configuration mark we have so here we can choose we have a use a seed a seed is a code for example i am using a generated world i want to repeat this world since from beginning i can type the seed here I choose how I can use the, the world, uh, infinite world, the old kind of world, or a uh, flat world, very indicated to use in a school project, because it's flat, you don't need to model the terrain. In a regular class, we can lose a lot of time, but the most indicated is use the flat world okay after i choose it creative way i will create my world but this time i won't will use the, the flat i will use the old c so this is the first image i flight over the the this is a top view I love it, the images, the colors, even is a Minecraft image. I can see the graphs is much more polished. I love it, this river, this uh, kind of vegetation above the river, the seeds, deposits. Here we have. Uh, meander river a ox bow here i love it so much as a geography teacher we we know the meander rivers don't appear in the in the veils but it's idea idea for work and use with students because the pattern of hydrography is only plain heavers and here we don't have a planing we have a, a veil but it's only for we we think uh, a good critical thinking good critical view to apply to have ideas and create more with our students so i love it i love the landscape amazing so here we have the blocks the blocks were split off in four categories the categories we use it to create with our students uh, the way we can sort of the activities we can do inside minecraft construction 
decorating, crafting, and other. So here we have uh, construction blocks, here decoration, so we have vegetables, doors, windows, the tools, we can find weapons, but we can find uh, other things to create action in our construction. Headstones is in tools here, the headstone powder, and others. Others is usually the things we use to construct, the things we use to, to craft. So my conclusion, in my opinion, this is a, a great step which Microsoft is giving in direction of the teachers, in direction of the educators, including museums and the public libraries. I, I love it, what I see, even in a beta version. So it's very easy to install, very easy to use. A lot of features to increase the usage in the school. So the two advices I give to the teacher is first, new, use, get familiarity with Minecraft. Other is the only limitation we have is imagination, creativity. So uh, to food for thought to our creative is here the greatest community in Facebook to with Minecraft exchange ideas. Uh, is a lot of things in Portuguese, but we need much more people to publish in English. Here we have. Uh, education.microsoft.com, the educational portal of Microsoft. So here we have a lot of classes, examples, ideas, the teachers of all world share. I have a, a great project I shared here with Minecraft and uh, German Opera when my students built a castle using Excel to make the plans. And the, the website to make the download of the educational version is here, education.minecraft.net. If you have some doubt, just tell me if you want. I can record the video for you explaining. So let's learn together. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you soon.